Hi everyone, I'm back with my brochure that I've practiced uh, several uh, backgrounds and let me show you what I've done uh, so far. Well, I think you saw all the backgrounds and I started doing some things on the backgrounds like this one. Very simple, just cut out a heart from a cardstock that I didn't like. A, um, glued down some uh, brown uh, paper bag that I wrinkled and uh, basically abused until it was all wrinkled and then I've glued also a part of a gauze bandage and after it was all dry I just uh, painted it uh, with several uh, shades of red and did highlights and wrote this so this one's uh, finished haven't done anything yet here and here and here <laughs> these two I must say I, I am not I don't think I'm going to do anything uh, on them I just love them as they are I don't know I, I really like them something uh, Sometimes it just needs as it is. I'll do something here. This one uh, I have already showed you uh, what I've done. And this one uh, I've just made a, a yesterday or the day before, I don't remember. Cut out uh, flowers from very thick uh, rice paper. And the stems are with the 3d paint or puff paint or tulip or <laughs> fabric paint uh, each one calls it uh, differently uh, the, the middle also with the 3d paint and i've done this just took one of my uh, painty papers with oranges and yellows uh, took some swirly uh, stamp stamped on the painty paper and then drew the shape of uh, these two fishes and put here this uh, we may not have it all together but together we have it all so this is it uh, for the inside now it's we are going to make the cover the technique i'm going to show you i have learned it from a uh, cat hand and i'll try to find uh, the the link to the specific video I think it was also from mixed media morsels but I'm not sure maybe it was the one before she started the mixed uh, media morsels so uh, basically we are going to paint on uh, two sheets of uh, address stickers I hope you can see this these are address stickers now you can do the same technique on regular paper and then cut it to any shapes you want if you don't like uh, rectangles do squares do whatever you want on any kind of uh, stick stickers or plain uh, paper it's just easier to do it and fun to do it on this uh, sticker sheet and I'm going to do uh, two at once because I need to I need uh, to have enough to cover both sides of my brochure so I'm just going to flip it over put some masking tape to hold the two pages and I'm going uh, to use uh, mostly rainbow colors I, I'll show you in a minute don't cringe i know rainbow is sometimes very kitschy but after we are done with it you'll see how it can turn into something like this this is basically what the cover will look like so here is my two sheets of uh, address uh, stickers i've got here strawberry holiday green uh, dark maroon uh, mandarin and I hate it when they put price tags on the name and what's this 
sorry, don't know if I don't know what it says here. Whatever. This is looks to me like cobalt blue, but it's it really doesn't matter. Pick whatever shades you want. It it really doesn't matter as I said. So uh, I'm I'm starting with uh, the yellow. Uh, it's not planned. You just start somewhere and put your paint wherever you want. You are just playing. That's the fun of it. Next. I'm thinking I should have put more yellow, but can be fixed. Nothing is set in stone. And we're just playing. Of course you don't have to do it with the uh, rainbow colors. You can pick whatever you want. I just find it uh, very, uh, I don't know, playful and freeing and fun to start with uh, these colors. I don't care that uh, it got mixed. Now I've got another shade on my paper, which is orange. As I said, it really doesn't matter. Just play around. You can also do it with a sponge if you are more comfortable. It doesn't have to be with a paintbrush. Next. Oops.
I need a clean brush. And I'm lazy. Nah. Okay, so that's the beginning of my background and I need it to dry and I'm going to arrange for a clean uh, jar with water be before I'm doing any more damage <laughs> and I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. So next step on this background is to pick some kind of stencil with lots of uh, details that uh, re repeat like the triangles here and we will you just start to you pick a, a color like uh, this one is luscious lemon and uh, start working with the sponge to cover this whole thing now uh, before i had this stencil i made this uh, and before uh, it's like three years ago now and before I had the <laughs> stencil and I also had the jelly plate and I didn't have the stencils to work on it and do some uh, patterns I had to find an alternative the alternative I found is to make uh, on uh, this is foam core boards uh, to make like I don't know what to call them, templates, uh, big stamps, <laughs> basically uh, all these uh, features are from, uh, are made from fun foam, craft foam, and I would just glue them to these uh, boards and I would use them on the jelly plate to basically remove paint, and then I thought if it removes paint I can stamp it with the paint. So it was uh, useful both ways and I've kind of used it a lot. So here, this is uh, even, these pieces are just from one of the, uh, there was like a robot uh, plaything for the kids that would shoot this kind of uh, foam discs and they were old enough uh, not to play with it anymore so I took the uh, foam discs and attached them to the foam board these are a uh, foam uh, embellishment that I just picked up in uh, the chip store and glued them again to the foam board these are a uh, that I cut uh, leaf shapes and made this uh, as my template and here I have got puzzle pieces just so you will see the what you can do this one is foam shelf lining also been used a lot and all kinds of shapes these are the bottom of a cookie packaging and another one that I have cut uh, the leaf shapes that you can see here so everything is getting used <laughs> so I can um, do now my uh, sticker page with the with the stencil or I can uh, paint this and stamp on my pages and I'm thinking for now I'm going to use the stencil I just wanted to show you the alternative so moving on I'm just going to do a bit of it not the, because it will take quite some time 
I'm going to show you how I'm working and then I'll pause and come back when I'm finished with the stencil. Now it's a, it will tone down the whole page. That's why I, I'm not bothered with all this loud and messy um, rainbow colors that I've used on the background. It's uh, toning it down but not covering it uh, uh, completely. There is some kind of transparency and you've got the re repetitive pattern that makes the whole thing interesting. So that's the start. I'm going to uh, continue and I'll come back when it's finished. I'm back. Next stage. Uh, find a at least two elements that you want to stamp here and you need one uh, I don't know if to call it it's not big and uh, medium uh, like this these are the uh, like uh, things like this some repetitive uh, stamp to go all around and pick two that uh, two or one that are small and also that you will repeat on the whole page so I'm thinking uh, the example I showed you I've used this stamp of the leaves and I'm thinking I'm going with this uh, stamp uh, for this project and probably with these two so now black acrylic paint use your this is the foam uh, stamp that I made you can either uh, smear the paint on your uh, on a flat uh, surface and then take your stamp to it or with your finger go over your stamp didn't go so well never mind I can always take a marker to it uh, afterwards Oh, that's more like it. So to speed thing al uh, along, that's basically what I'm gonna do on all this uh, sticker uh, pages like this and now like this oops That's what happens when you're in a hurry. So I'm going to continue to stamp away on all, uh, all over this and then I'll come back with the next stage. I'm back. So now it's time for doodling. And this is my sh my stash of uh, permanent markers like Posca pens and other stuff that I found in my chip store. And just so you know, do not do not try to work on something a little bit even wet because 
it ruins the Posca pens or the other any kind of marker it ruins them and I've learned it the hard way because I don't have a patience for things to get dry <laughs> and I'm just going to demonstrate what I'm going to to do now I'm going to add to each of the stems I've made I'm going to uh, make it more uh, pronounced with the white Posca pen and I'm going as I said I'm going to doodle and just add details to each one of those uh, prints that I made with black here like this and it doesn't have to be white you can use whatever you want I can introduce pink wait now if you don't have a Posca pens before I had them because they are quite expensive I've just used nail polish yeah and I, uh, just so you know I still do you can uh, do very nice things with nail polish so it doesn't have to be expensive Here we go, nail polish. And I've got them with glitter and I've got metal ones. So you can play around and do lots and lots of stuff with nail polish. At least here we have uh, like cheap stores for cosmetics so I can find it really, really cheap here we go just playing around oopsie yeah so that's what I'm planning I'm going to go all over this page it's going to take quite some time so I'll uh, return when everything is dry I'll be back okay so here we go all the uh, doodling if you can call it and adding little bits of pieces to each element and now we can take the stickers out and start uh, gluing them to our cover but basically this is uh, another background that you can make no matter how busy uh, it is and you can always change the colors and do m something more <laughs> uh, less colorful than this and I just uh, covered uh, my brochure on the outside with the black paint as you can see uh, I didn't go uh, up to the edge because I know myself and if I tried it it would just get paint in my other pages so what I and it's still here not uh, completely dry what I'm going to do when it's dry I'm going to uh, take black marker and go all over the places that need more black and uh, when it's dry I'm going I'll be back and start gluing the stickers down so I'll be back I'm back so I've got my brochure that is painted black on the outside I've got my stickers and I don't trust the adhesive on the back side of those stickers so I'm going to reinforce it with white glue now uh, you can decorate your cover uh, however you want you can go like bricks I'm here so as you can see the adhesive is already not uh, something to write home about you can uh, go like bricks as like this you can start doing something completely different like this and 
uh, I like to use uh, different uh, parts of my uh, page uh, so it go there is more color and more interest so here we go I'll start so you can see what I'm talking about what I'm doing and of course after it I will pause continue and then come back my time for the video is running out so one already glued down as you can see I'm taking from another part of my sheet a different uh, sticker and what should I do? Do I go with bricks or something more? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> something more. I went to all the trouble with all the details, so I'll go and do something more interesting than just a pattern of bricks Another part of my, oops, of my sticker page. I need to trim it. like making a mosaic and it does need uh, patience <laughs> but I think the final result is uh, is worth it I'm leaving it like this and when I'll finish with this side I'll flip it over and just glue it all over here תהיו בבקשה בשקט, אני עדיין מקליטה. כנסו לחדרים שלכם בבקשה. So that's the basic uh, idea. I'm going to continue. I'll come back at the end. I'm back. So as you can see, this is uh, the part that almost uh, dry. That still has to uh, get dry. And this is my cover. I still got more stickers so I can use them for other projects. You can uh, put them on tags, on anything you want. To decorate your art journal uh, pages you can do whatever you want with them and as I said you, you can do the same thing on a regular uh, paper and then cut the shapes that you want to uh, make this kind of mosaic so this is it for now and bye